Broncos. I'm Sarah Hagen with Career and Student Employment Services at Western Michigan University. And today I'm gonna to give you the top five tips for creating a great resume. Tip number one, layout is important. Employers will review a resume for less than 30 seconds. So you need to make it easy for them to find the important information they're looking for. Pick an easy to read font and set it to 11 or 12 point and use bold, caps, or underlined font to make your section heading stand out. Be sure your dates of employment and graduation are lined up on the right-hand margin for easy scanning. And make sure you use bulleted statements to describe your work rather than paragraphs. Tip number two, customize your resume to the job description. Scan the job description for keywords and infuse those words, skills, and experiences into your resume. A resume is intended to show how you're a fit for a specific job, so make sure you're editing and updating your resume for each job you apply to. You might also consider adding a unique objective statement to your resume that highlights the key skills you bring to the table. Tip number three, use action words. The descriptions of your current and past work experiences should be focused on action. Use diverse verbs to indicate your specific role or individual responsibility in a project. Search online for words or phrases that are unique to your industry. Tip number four, focus on accomplishments. Rather than writing a long list of tasks or duties, craft accomplishment statements that describe what you did, how you did it, and what the result was. Quantify wherever possible, specifically for budgets and group sizes. Include accomplishments that you're particularly proud of that highlight your skills and strengths. And tip number five, Proofread. Be sure to proofread your documents for any typos or grammar issues before sending your final version to an employer. If possible, ask a trusted friend, family member, or colleague to review your resume, as a fresh set of eyes can more easily point out mistakes. Now that you've got these tips down, let's check in with a human resources professional to hear what they look for in resumes and how they determine which resumes to move forward to an interview. Hello Broncos, this is Ryan Smith, WMU alum, class of 2006, and manager, HR business partner, and Industrial Light and & Magic and Skywalker Sound, both located in California. I'm here today to share my insights from an HR perspective on what happens to your resume during the application process. After you apply, typically your resume is being reviewed by one or more recruiters to see if your resume meets the qualifications of the job. If they see your resume as one of the ones that stands out, hopefully you use the tips from the previous video, they will reach out to have a pre-screening call. In that pre-screening call, they'll likely dive deeper into your resume, asking you questions about your career history, how does it match the skill sets needed for the role that you apply to? And also, what are you really looking for when you're searching for a company to join? As an applicant, you should be asking similar questions to the recruiter, diving deeper into the company history, company culture, and what it's like to work there. Both parties should be trying to figure out if this is a good fit. Hopefully you've made it past the pre-screening process and now your resume is moving on to be recommended to meet with a hiring manager. Depending on the organization, a hiring manager may review resumes and decide to shorten the list even further, or they may want to meet with all of the candidates that a recruiter recommends to them. No matter what the situation, treat the conversation just as important as you did with the recruiter in the pre-screening. Come prepared with questions and also make sure that you are available for multiple interviews if needed. That's about it for most companies, a recruiter, a hiring manager, and you. Those are the conversations that help to make an offer happen. Broncos, I wish you the best in your career journey Take care.